Hello everybody, I'm Gavin. I'm a Zoramark wizard, and as I adjust my mic, which I said it done at the beginning of this recording, welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Black. Last episode of Let's Play Pokemon Black, we fought N, and we also explored a bit of Nimbasha City, and we also saw Bianca face her father, because now she can go on the Pokemon journey without any doubts, worries, or whatever. But last time, we saw the gym leader. Uh, I think her name is like Elise, right? I don't I think it's Elise, but... Nimbasha Pokemon Gym. Alicia, I think it's Alicia? I'm gonna go with Alicia. I'm hoping that's right, because if that's wrong, it's gonna be awkward. Anyways, her gimmick is this. You go around on roller coasters. But this one doesn't go anywhere, because this one's supposed to be the one that takes you to gym leader, if you do it right. So anyways, she runs an Electro-type gym. So obviously, the only weakness that Electro-type Pokemon have is Ground-type. So, you got any ground moves, those are pretty good right now. Like, rev up those earthquakes, am I right, guys? Looks like here is our first trainer to cut out. Oh, before I cut out the trainers, actually I'll show at the end of this battle. Your fast and sense is kind of new. Come on, townis. Oh, what are you trying to say about me? Oh no, I thought I was passing it. Look how much money the characters drop here. Because they drop a lot of money here. And with that, I'm going to be right back because I need to heal. I decided to use uh, my last cherry berry and lemonades to heal up there. And now we press these switches, these will change where the roller coaster goes. Like this roller coaster will now take us onward. It won't just take us in that little loop before now, it'll take us over here to fight more rich people. So if you really want money, what you should do is get your amulet coin, which I actually don't have on Kuja. I equipped it to him with the uh, E-Ball Tite, as you can see there, because I thought it'd be useful for him. So Blitzel, I'm going to move, uh, oh, I, there's no move option. Eh, I don't have that in this generation yet. But I want the amulet coin on my lead numbers there, so I'm actually going to take it from Kuja and give it to Roin because, uh, well, I can take advantage of the money, because they give out a lot of money. It sucks that other traders don't give out a lot of money, but eh, whatever, take what you can get. If I could find the amulet coin, that'd be amazing. There it is. I'll switch you in front. You know, actually, since you really do need the experience, I'll take that evil tank and I'll just give you the XP share for now. You are kind of running low on levels because I'm not. I've been, I've been using a uh, rag and roller more, or I should say, Baldor now more than you, which is kind of sad. Anyways, there's a rich kid over here. Let's go kick his rich ass. Welcome, challenger. I will do the greatest honors accepting your challenge. I will do the greatest honors of kicking your ass. Roll, 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 roll on roller coaster. Look how much money. Eight thousand pokey. As for the amulet coin, by the way, if without amulet coin, that'd be 4,000, so I'll click on this switch right there to activate that. So we can take this uh, yellow place, what do you gotta say? I was aiming for the fighting style that overwhelms you with speed. If I can move faster my opponents, I'll get the upper hand. Well, that didn't happen, and I just missed the roller coaster, because I talked to you. See, this is what I get. I don't know why I feel like even talking to him, I just had... I thought he would say something interesting. Because some NPCs do say interesting things after you, uh, you beat them in a battle. Some don't, however. Oh, this guy is a trainer, apparently, though. Are you cool? Are you cool riding a roller coaster? Uh, I think so. When you ride a roller coaster, the speed can make you dizzy. I'm gonna make your head spin up with a Pokemon that that's just intense. Um, okay, wherever you say so, dude. Your way of battling, it's elegant. You've got style. Even compared to Miss Alicia. Alright, let me go. Of course, the thing moves. Now it's back. Decided to cut back, because now we can actually get on this thing and go to our next destination, which is right about here. There we go. This one's easy, because all you gotta do is flip on the switch. I don't, think, I don't really think there are that many trainers from here on out. This gym is actually pretty short. It's cool looking, but very short. And it's not really a puzzle, it's more like a, it's a cool looking gym. Your Nimbasa gym challenge is finally ne is nearing its finale, but if you don't be me, you'll you won't get to Miss Alicia. Or Miss Alicia. I'm also a Pokemon trainer who's been topped up by Miss Alicia. I'll show you the power of the style benefiting the ch this gym. It pleases me that it, it pleases me to be the opponent of a strong and honorable trainer like you. Well, I that's good to goddamn roller coasters. You know, I really do like the roller coasters, but I just hate how they just take forever. You gotta wait for them like that. I wish there was like a button to call it or whatever. Anyways, that's the gym leader right over there. But if you flip the switch right here, you can go back to the beginning. 
So you can instantly go back to the gym leader. Guess what? I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna heal. So I'll see you guys once I've healed up all my Pokemon to fall. So I'll see you guys then. Well, I was cutting away. I was gonna buy some paralysis heals just for the gym fight. And then I noticed they had super repels. <laughs> oh, 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 that was so worth it. Anyways, also while I'm here, this guy actually sells TMs. I don't know why I didn't go over this, but he sells Frustration, Return, Thunder Wave, Gyro Ball, Light Screen, Safeguard, and Reflect. I'm not, I don't really see any interest in any of these moves at the moment, even though these are some pretty good moves. But if you want to pick any of them up, they're here. I'm going to probably pick them all up eventually on my own time. But for now, they're here. I have no interest in buying them. And maybe except for maybe Return. But besides that, the rest of them are just kind of eh. Not bad, just not useful to me. Anyways, now back to Gym Leader. Just to quickly point this out, because I had to do this. For some reason, when you exit this gym, and you already pressed the switch, you have to press it again. I mean, you only have to get, basically, it resets. This annoyed the shit out of me. So I had to go through all the whole gym over again. Not that it was that big of a deal. But anyways, I am now ready to fight the gym leader. I bought some paralysis heals, as you saw earlier, or you saw me stopping earlier. Well, you didn't see me buy the paralysis heals, but you saw me stopping. So I honestly recommend getting those because she has a lot of attacks that can paralyze you. Anyways. Did that fantastic speed leave you dizzy? My beloved Pokemon will be the next one to make your head spin. So, anyways, Nimbasa City's gym leader, Elise, Alicia. She has three Pokemon, and she kind of looks cool. I like Alicia. She's cool in the story. She looks cool. She's honestly one of my more favorite gym leaders. Anyway, she starts with a Volga, level 25, and knows the moves. It has the ability static. It knows the moves Pursuit, Hook Attack, Bolt Switch, and Aerial Ace. It's not like the Mogo we saw earlier in the gym, which I guess I can sell right now, at new fucking double team. I hate those Mogos, and I'm glad we're no longer fighting those in Mogos. I don't know why I say a Mogo earlier. So anyways, this guy's not that hard because we had Smackdown, which is a rock. Yeah, luckily, because he's using it, Mogos, and Mo I don't know why I keep saying a Mogo, like my tongue slips or, or something like that. Emolga, because of that, they're weak to rock type moves, which is nice because without that flying subtype, they wouldn't be weak to anything because they'd be immune to ground. You and your Pokemon are signing brilliantly. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that my Pokemon are kicking your ass. She also has two hyper potions, which is her limit, by the way. So once she uses her next one, she's done. She's all no more healing, which is good. So, anyways, oh, I almost took out the ammo, though, which is nice. This gym will probably won't take that long. And then she already used her second hyper post, and that's awesome. So now she won't use it on her signature Pokemon, which is good because the signature Pokemon's are really strong. And I can't believe I one side of the ammo. See, I first I actually had doubts using um a Bulldor and uh, what is it? I'm forgetting Bulldor's final evolution, even though I've sent it multiple times throughout this Let's Play. I'm smart. Very smart. Anyways, I was thinking not using the Bulldor line because, well, I didn't really think they'd be that good because they're so slow. But as you can see, this is working out for me. So they're slow, but they can take hits though. So I'm okay with this. Anyways, her last Pokemon, Substrika, level 27, knows the has the ability Lightning Rod, which means any lightning moves that hit it, will, any thunder moves that, any electric type moves that hit it won't be absorbed and don't do any damage. It will always target that Pokemon. Knows the moves Quick Attack, Spark, Bolt Switch, and Flame Charge. This guy is kind of threatening because, well, he knows Flame Charge can boost his speed by one level every time you use it, which could be annoying. Also, Bolt Switch is just annoying because he can switch out whenever he wants without knowing. And Spark is probably his least threatening move. Spark and Quick Attack, that is. Are you switching out? Awesome. Because this is going to kill you now. Because, uh... Watch that. Oh I, didn't, oh, I used an item that turn. I thought I used, uh, Smackdown. But oh well. Okay, this won't kill you. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So you like the spam Bolt Switch and swap between your three Pokemon. Not too sure why so that's her in their AI script, but whatever. It's just weird. Anyways, I'm going to have to heal up again this turn. But not a big deal. So you could have used Bolt Switch again anyways, which is just going to kind of stupid in my opinion. Okay, hey, whatever floats her AI's boat. Oh no, she used a spark this time. She's actually gonna stay in. Huh. I'm surprised. And now I'm really annoyed because as because I'm gonna edit this. 
Because right now I don't remember what Voldor's final evolution is. I don't remember the name. I remember what it is. I don't know why I can't remember the name. But I'm going to be editing this later. I'm going to be screaming myself, no, it's this. And I'm just kind of like, ugh. I don't remember it. I don't know why. As a matter of fact, I'm going to look it up. <laughs> I'm that desperate. Because I don't know why I can't remember it. Anyways, her Mogo goes down and we gain the experience all of that. Script said that was Seb Striker, which is her last one. So I'm going to send down uh, Sir Vine. Because he's the only one I think he can really handle. I mean, Ryan can probably handle it. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Gigalith, there we go. I don't know why he couldn't remember that name for some reason. But whatever. Well, I already said there's him strike his moves, which is for the hell of it, because he's actually setting out this time and not drew a bolt switch. Quick attack, spark, bolt switch, and flame charge. So there you go. So in case you missed it the first time. Anyways, let's just use a leaf tornado, and that's to finish the guy off. If it doesn't finish the guy off, we'll come very close. Leaf tornado, and there we go. That was actually the shortest gym leader fight I've had. I was surprised. This gym went very fast compared to, uh, what is it? The one in Castalia City. Ooh, we're gonna learn Taunt. Huh, actually, what do we got? Um, yeah, it's better than, I guess, Scary Face. I might as well. I mean, I think Scary Face is probably better, but uh, I'll just teach it Taunt for now for the hell of it. And Ronnie getting some experience. Anyways, why to make why to make your head sing by sock myself instead? All right. I love how she gives out less money than the trainers here. Oh, my, oh my. You're fi you have a sweet fighting style. I mean, you're a great trainer. Excuse me. Um. Uh, oh, here. I need to have this. She gives us the one. I forget what this. I think it's the bolt badge. I forget exactly what this one's called. But she's gonna tell us what it is in a second. So, not that big of a deal. We're halfway there. Yeah, it is the bolt badge. I can't believe it. Four badges already. If you have four badges, including the Bolt Badge, Pokemon up to level 50, including trade Pokemon, will obey you. Also, here's this move I want you to have. Feel free to use it, um, if you want to. Bolt Switch, which is basically the move she was spamming on us. <laughs> I mean, really, she only used Spark once. Bolt Switch let lets the Pokemon switch with a different Pokemon after attacking. Of course, if you don't have another Pokemon in your party, you can't switch. You're going to Trip Build next, right? Oh, of course. There's a Pokemon Gym there, after all. Oh. I bet you won't be able to get there. You know what? I'll fix the, I'll fix it so you can cross. Come wait for me in Route Five. So the thing is, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's see if what happens if we go in it now. Oh, it just magically goes on track. Oh, I'm okay with that. So to quickly explain. If you went to Route Five, which is basically where you have to go next now, you would go there and Charizard Bridge. I think that's what it's called. It would be closed. It would be all the way up, and you could cross it. So, that basically is preventing you from going onward. That's the reason why you need to fight the gym to go onward. So, I'm just going to heal up real quickly, just for the hell of it. And I think that's going to call the episode. The next episode of Let's Play Pokemon uh, Black, we're going to actually explore, not Route 5, but Route... Let me get the town map up for a second here. Because I forget what this route is called for some reason. I know it's Route 20-something, but I forget what 20 it is. Uh, the town map should be right here. We're going to explore a bit of Route 16, actually. Oh, it's not even in the 20s. So, I mean, we're not going to be doing that much stuff there, but we're going to explore that, and then explore Route 5. So, until then, I'm Gavin. I'm a Zoroark Wizard, and I'll see you guys later.